Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Hope everyone is doing well. I wanted to jump on real quick and just give you guys a little bit of encouragement. I know a lot of us has um, been going through um, probably some heavy warfare. Either we're in it now or got out of it just recently like myself. Um, thank God. But I wanted to give you some encouragement and just tell you to keep looking forward to the future. Um, I heard a word, um, you know, recently that said restoration. And so I, I believe God is really going to be restoring um, peace to us, restoring um, just good health, prosperity, anything that the locust has eaten in your life, in your past, God is going to be restoring all of it. The enemy owes us seven times whatever he has taken. So I want you to be encouraged. And I want to read to you from, um, let's see, I want to read from Corinthians, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, verse 9. I'm, I have it written down and then I'm, I have it on my computer. But verse 9, I'm going to read down, I think, to um, at least to 11. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. Verse 10, these are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. 11. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. Um, let me see. Do I want to read 12? So 12. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God so that we may understand what God has freely given us. And so with that being said, that was um, verses 9, and I read down to 12, 1 Corinthians, um, second chapter. And so, you know, I think it's important that you just stay focused on God. And I know that it's hard. Sometimes I know when I was in that warfare, it was hard to even pray. It was hard to keep my head up to be completely honest but stand in that because there is something that God is also wanting to teach and train us on is how to battle warfare and something that I am definitely considering doing because this is not going to be the last time um, that we're going to deal with warfare we are probably being trained on how to handle it um, because it may even become more intense as we keep progressing. And as God keeps waking up more and more of his people and more of us are out here reaching more people, the enemy is going to keep turning up the heat. So my suggestion would be is when you come out of the fire, come up with a plan on how to handle it when it comes up again. Um, personally, I've you know, created some uh, worship songs. A few of them have been downloaded to me by um, the Holy Spirit. Um, come up with a few verses that really support um, God's plan for your life. You, like, you need something to reference back to. Write down all the things that God has um, delivered you from, helped you through, blessed you with, so that you can stay focused on how God has helped you and carried you through things in the past, because that is the same God that's going to carry you through into your future. And so if you have these things already written down and you have them somewhere, refer back to them when you feel heavy, um, especially if it's becoming hard to just, you know, endure. Um, it probably will be more intense before you know, that warfare is lifted up off of you. So come up with a plan on what you can do once the warfare is over so that the next time you're in it, you have a good strategy. You have some worship music that you can listen to to help lift the heaviness. 
you either have somebody that you know that will be there to pray with you or for you. You have um, some great scriptures that speak to, um, towards warfare. You have some things to read that God has helped you with, delivered you from or through in your past so that you don't lose faith in him. Um, these are my suggestions and these are things that I'm going to actually do so that um, it's going to be a, a part of my strategy to even fight the enemy, to be able to speak um, back to him based on what God has done and based on God's word. And um, so I just want to leave you with that. And hopefully, you know, as you're coming through this warfare um, and pray for yourself. Always pray for yourself, pray in the spirit and ask the Holy Spirit to cover you and pray, you know, for you on your behalf. And I, I promise you, you know, it will end. The warfare is going to end. That heaviness will be lifted and restoration is coming. All right. So anyway, you guys, I just wanted to leave you with that. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Subscribe if you have not. Um, share this video if anybody you know may be dealing with warfare right now, may need a word of encouragement. Um, uh, 1 Corinthians is a great Bible verse that speaks to, you know, that God has a plan and there is good things in our future and restoration is a part of it. So, you know, the devil owes us. And so don't get weary. Don't get weary and fall out before you get payback. <laughs> you know, like you got to be, you got to stand up and be ready to get all that the devil owes you. And he owes you seven times. And I don't care how hot he get the fire up under me. I'm going to stand. So stand with me. All right. You guys be blessed and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.